Hello and welcome to KnowledgeBank.pro. Today we're talking about how to make a copy of a Power BI data flow. So in our case, I have a data flow called employee and data flow is already used by a bunch of reports in production. What I wanna do, however, is make a few changes and I wanna be playing with some logic in this data flow. So instead of rebuilding it from scratch, I wanna make a copy, make my changes there and then deploy that copy either in this workspace or in a different workspace. The problem is if I click on a menu options for the data flow, I do not have a, an option to clone it or copy it. However, I do have an option to export .json file, and it turns out that's exactly the option that we need. So let's go ahead and click on export JSON. And what this will do, this will create a download, a copy of the JSON to your hard drive. So here I open the JSON file on my uh, hard drive. Uh, I'm using Notepad++ for this. And you can see I have two tables in my data flow, one employee, one BU. And then in this document line, line 22, I have a long string of the Power Query AMP transformations that are necessary to implement the logic that I need with respect to those two tables. Uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because this JSON file can come in pretty handy. So for example, I would like to now deploy um, these two um, tables, Power BI, uh, Power Query tables, to source from a different database in different server. What I could do is I could find that connection string here and do uh, this change in bulk. As I said, that comes in pretty handy because we do have an advanced editor option in a data flow editor in the browser. However, in this case, I could do uh, changes, as I said, in bulk. So if I have a bunch of tables that are sourcing from, let's say, a particular server, particular database, and I want to change, let's say, 20 tables to go to a different server or to a different database, I can easily change it here just using uh, find and replace. So obviously, if all you want to do is just a simple copy, you don't need to make any changes to this file. You just need to save it, and then you need to create a new data flow and uh, import the JSON file into the new data flow. Let's see what I mean. So I have a copy of this file already on my hard drive. Now I just want to make a copy of it uh, in the same workspace or in any other workspace. So pick the workspace where you would like to uh, copy this uh, data flow to, then go and say create new data flow. And the type of the data flow is import model. And then once you click on import model, you can navigate to your file, find that file on your hard drive, click open. It will just take a few seconds. And then you will see your newly imported copy of the prior previous data flow here. And now all you need to do is rename it. You just click on the menu option, then you click on properties, and you could call it new employee. And then all you need to do is click save. There you go. Now you're able with just a few easy steps, make a copy of a data flow, make bold changes to the data flow if need be, and then deploy it either in the same workspace or in a different workspace. Hope you found this to be interesting and informative, and I look forward to see you come back soon. Thanks. Bye.